Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Mac by Channel TV. And just when you thought the transfer videos were over, you get swooshed right back in, you get sucked into it. Eh? The transfer window is over, but Newcastle signings aren't. An emergency signing today for Newcastle United, Loris Carius. Bet you didn't think I'd be saying that name this summer. Out of all the transfer videos we've done, out of all the rumours, Carius is in Newcastle having his medical about a sign. Yeah, yeah, there it is, you know, some news, like unexpected news on this rainy Thursday lunchtime as uh, Keith Downey from Sky Sports News has uh, said that, you know, Carrius is signing for Newcastle because of an injury to Carl Dolo, an ankle ligament injury for Newcastle's number two, Carl Dolo is going to rule him out for quite some time. So Newcastle are dipping into the free agent market, now we've seen other Premier League clubs do this already, looks like Diego Costa, the ex-Chelsea striker, the ex-Animal Diogo Costa, lunatic, is signing for Wolves. Um, so there's one after his work. He had problems with his work payment and everything, didn't he? But the free agent market is there. There's still some okay names on that list, to be honest. And Carius is the one that Eddie Howe has chosen to solve the goalkeeping crisis. Now, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying this is a crisis, this is a disaster, and this is why we shouldn't have let Martin Dabrafka go. Calm down, all right? Just, I mean, I, I won't be calm. I won't be calm if Nick Pope gets injured. And Carius is our number one for months, so I can understand where, where that's coming from. But, you know, let's hope that Pope stays fit and will be sound. Carius will barely play. He'll probably play the odd cup match. It's a short-term deal. Uh, the details on that aren't specific as of yet, but we can recall Martin Dabrafka in January if we wish. Um, and again, on the, on, the, on the Dabrafka situation, we couldn't do nothing about that. He wanted the move. Newcastle, Eddie Howe, everyone wanted to keep him at the club. But he wanted a move. He wasn't happy about being demoted at number two. He felt that was harsh after his service over these years in the black and white. He wanted that move to Manchester United. Manchester United came calling. And look, at there's a difference between being demoted at number two and then going in as a number two. He goes to Manchester United as a number two. He, he might even play tonight. You know what I mean? Man United are playing in Europa League tonight. So he might even play there. So I, I, I can't blame the Rafka in a way. Do you know what I mean? He, he did well at Newcastle. He got put in as number two. He didn't want to fight for his place. Fair enough. Move on, no hard feelings. And you know, like I say, he gets a chance at European football for Manchester United this season to put that on his CV, look back at that on his career. So I've got no issues with that. Now it's just very unlucky the timing of this. Obviously, this time last week it was deadline day and we allowed the Brafka to go. If Dolo got injured this time last week, we might have tried a bit harder to keep him, to insist upon him to keep him. He might have thought, right, I may get more of a chance now, but I still think he would have wanted to go. Once my United's interest was there, he wanted to go. Anyways, we're going to get into Carrius because he's the man now that's going to be Newcastle United's number two for the, for the short term at least. And very conflicting opinions on Carrius. I'm going to get into them in just a moment. But first of all, thank you to Football Prizes for sponsoring this video. Look at this for a prize, right? It ends today, so you haven't got long. But if you followed on social media, you would have known that this was happening. Every Monday we post Football Prizes on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And uh, on the Thursday as well, we'll, we'll post it to let you know that it's ending tonight. There it is on the screen. You can see it there, £2.95. You know what I mean? I know the cost of living's going up, but that's a great, that's a great deal to get a chance to win that same shirt for £2.95, plus to be entered into the hat of loads of other prizes. You can't have gone wrong. Good luck. Link is in the description. So, Carrius, right then. Um, when I first heard the news and I was driving, I thought, what the fuck is going on here? And I, did, I couldn't see the full tweet because obviously I was driving. I just got the snippet from Keith Downey and... Uh, I thought that Pope was injured and I thought, oh my God, oh my bloody condom. I can't believe it. I, 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 that would have been devastating if it was Pope that was injured. Then it would have been the crisis that everyone's talking about on Twitter. But it's not for me, because as long as Pope stays fit, it's sound. Carrius, uh, it's a, you know what it is? He's, it's quite a strange one, Loris Carrius. I mean, he hasn't played football in, in some time in the Premier League. His last appearance New, uh, for Newcastle, for Liverpool, was that disaster in the Champions League final. And that is where his reputation lies now. It's up to him to come in when he gets his chance. Well, probably Crystal Palace in the League Cup in a couple of months' time, next month, October, whenever it is. That's his chance to, you know, put himself out there again, prove for you the doubt is wrong. In that game in the Champions League final, he had a nightmare. But he had very good games before that for Liverpool, and he had even better games in the Bundesliga for Mainz. You know, in Mainz in the 2016 season, he was voted the second best goalkeeper in that league. You know, only behind Manuel Neuer. So it shows how highly rated he was back then. Signs for Liverpool, signs for Klopp, another German who highly rates him. He does well in cup appearances for Liverpool and 
in that Champions League, yeah, he did well, and then it comes to the final. And people, some people don't know this, but it was actually concussion. They came out and said it was concussion um, after that Champions League final is why he made those mistakes. Now, Klopp has said that was an excuse. He says that was the explanation. He says for the first goal, he, t- he takes an elbow in that match early on. And then for the first goal, he has a nightmare where he throws it out, hits Benzema, and it deflects in. That's one of the worst things you'll ever see in football. Goalkeeping mistake, absolute howler. And then for the second one, he spills Bale's 40-yard shot, doesn't he? So it's not good. But then he goes to hospital a couple of days later and it comes out he had concussion. And that was the reason. And then he never plays for Liverpool again. Goes on loan, goes to Besiktas in Turkey, where he had uh, wage problems there. They weren't paying him for months, so he had to take them to court and everything. Did okay there. He really impressed in his debut, I think. Um, he made 20-odd saves or something like that in his debut for Besiktas. So he, he did well there. He went to Union Berlin in Germany last year he was there. The last couple of years he spent there on loan. Yeah, he hasn't played much football lately, which is a concern. But you mean, get him on the training ground. Eddie Howe can do some work on him. Build his confidence back up. I'm sure he's an okay goalkeeper. You don't get to sign for Liverpool and play in Champions League finals if you're not highly thought of, if you're not regarded. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's hard, though, when you've had that traumatic performance and experience that he had in the Champions League final. It's hard to come back from that. It, it really is. We've seen it in the past with other players, um, not just goalkeepers, but <sighs> what can you do if he's willing to pick yourself up? I mean, Jesus Christ, he spent more time in the gym than he has on the pitch lately. He's been doing up bodybuilding. You know what I mean? I thought he was going to enter Mr. Olympia, not be playing football again. The bloke's just been lifting weights for the past few years, so we're signing a bodybuilder, not a goalkeeper. But we'll see how he gets on. Look, he's played well in the past. He's obviously got something about him. If he can regain his confidence, get over his mistakes, get over that psychologically is the main battle, I think. Um, and then build from there. Look, like I say, he probably won't even play for Newcastle. He, he'll play in the odd League Cup game or whatever, but if Pope stays fit, he's not really going to play, is he? We've got the World Cup in a couple of months, so he might not even make an appearance for Newcastle, but he's there as an option, someone who's played in the Premier League before, played in bloody Champions League finals, got an assist, got an assist in the Champions League final, for crying out loud, as a goalkeeper. Not many people at all can say they got an assist in the Champions League final, but this bloody goalkeeper can. I've said bloody, bloody loads of times there. But Carrius, I think, you know, it's an emergency signing. It's got to be done. It's back up. There it is. I mean, let us know what you think about Carrius signing for Newcastle. I can understand people being a bit hesitant. And then, like I say, for me, I think it's Harris. I mean, I'll judge him when I see him. I haven't seen him for a couple of years and we'll see what he's like now on the pitch if he gets a chance. But as back up, look, we can't even respect the Mark Gillespie, but come on. Where did that bloke come from? Scotland or something? He's there just for just for being a Geordie. Do you know what I mean? Get me on. Get bloody Marty G Shaw on. Get someone on. You know what I mean? He's just there for bloody local local data. So you can't be snorting Gillespie in, in Premier League games. But Carrius, he's been there before. He's done it. Give him a shot. You know what I mean? We're gonna have to. It's with Zabrafka going out. Dahl getting injured. It's unfortunate. But as long as Nick Pope stays fit, we'll be alright. It's 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 not much of a crisis uh, yet. But it could be if Pope gets it. But we're not gonna think about the negatives there. Focus on the positives. I wear Popey. Stay fit. Nick Pope looks to be getting his chance as England's number one as well in the uh, few weeks' time when we have the international break because Pickford is out. So Pope could be starting. Be Pope or Ramsdale, would not it? You would have thought. So he's got a chance now to stake his claim for the World Cup as number one. So good luck to Pope. Good luck to Carrius. Let's see how it turns out. Medical today. He'll probably be announced tonight. To be fair, we'll wait and see. Smash your like button, subscribe, and comment below what you think about Carrius Newcastle United. See you in the next one.